Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be taking a look at Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1. This is a new animated film from Warner Brothers Entertainment coming later on. Uh, so we got a little bit, we have on the channel a, a true reaction with everyone on the stream uh, for the overall uh, three-part trailer. But this is specifically for the first part. So this is going to be a film comprised of three parts, which makes sense. Crisis is usually a, a pretty bulky story. Uh, so let me read some stuff about this film. Then we'll go take a look at the video and talk some more about this. Death is coming worse than death oblivion. Not just for our Earth, but for everyone, everywhere, in every universe. Against the ultimate destruction, the mysterious monitor has gathered the greatest forces superhero team ever assembled. But what can the combined might of Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and hundreds of superheroes from multiple Earths even do to save all reality from an unstoppable antimatter Armageddon? Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit of a, um, a date for this uh, when we see the trailer. So let's go take a look. We'll come back, talk more about this upcoming animated film. All right, here's the trailer for Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earth Part 1. Flash, run, Barry. Most of you are aware that you live in a reality parallel to many versions of your universe. I've the voice sounds familiar. To save your world. Who is this? Uh, who's the, mo the monitor? That does not look good. You got that right. One of the things we talked about in the first stream was the, uh, real. the animation I style looks pretty simple, Earth where they could have really gone all out. Well, who we have here? I come from a parallel Earth. We look oh, down we have uh, some Earth 2 or 3 villains, depending on which version of the DC Universe well, you're talking about. Team of heroes. The Justice League. Drain the power from them. Thank you, Justice League. Something's about to happen. Something major. I am Harbinger. This is the thing. Yeah, I think. Oh, Harbinger looks you very different the from the comic. Strength and speed to save your universe. Some Christ interesting God. designs, but what's happening? The universe. It's all vanishing. Look. This is it. I won't let you go. Is it as bad as it looks? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. I feel like this first movie doesn't have a happy ending. All right, so I checked online and per IGN, even though the trailer didn't give us a release date, uh, part one should be out digitally on January 9th and then on Blu-ray and 4K steelbook all that stuff on january 23rd i might try to get those steelbooks although i wonder where i'm going to get them from now that uh, best buy is not going into the steelbook stuff anymore um but this is very very interesting we have a lot of voices returning we have you know like mcdonnelly we have uh jimmy simpson we have sakura quinto uh darren chris as some of the superman stana ketik as a uh, Wonder Woman, who's been doing that voice for a while. Jensen Ackles returns as Batman. So a lot of the familiar voices they've been using as of recently. Um, so I think this is going to be very interesting uh, to see the full adaptations. This story is very... A crisis, I mean, that was a 12-part uh, story on the comics. And at this time, like in the 80s when this came out, um uh, the comics were very dense uh so cramming all that stuff in there there's a lot of material here so hopefully they can do a very good job streamlining the story uh welcoming in a new audience and also telling a full story within those three films uh i think this is going to be very cool something something really fun to look forward to in 2024 dc animated uh usually has very good quality stuff there's been a few things that have been a little bit more of a miss uh recently and i think that kind of ebbs and flows uh depending on where the direction in which they're trying to go uh but this looks good i'm excited uh like i said i think i wish they would do a little bit more 
uh, with the animation as far as like taking a few more risks. But other than that, not a lot of complaints on my part. Very excited for this. A familiar story that uh, it's really fun to revisit in different ways, right? So I think we've done, we've seen this kind of live action. Just when it comes to DC and the crisis, like they're synonymous with each other. So very exciting stuff. Uh, all right. So if you have seen this trailer, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>